I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And said Hezekiah wept sore. Amen? Come on. Sometimes we've got to remind God of His promises. I don't think there's anything wrong with reminding Him of His Word. Amen to God? Amen. Somebody told me, well, you better not do that. He'll strike you dead. I think He wants us to remind Him. Yeah. Praise God to see. Amen to God. Do they trust me and believe me enough? Do they stand upon my Word? If God has promised you something in, in time past, Praise God. Remind Him of it. Lord, You promised You would do this for me or do that for me. Lord, when's it going to happen? God wants you... It's not that He's forgetful, amen, to God. He wants to see if you're going to keep on seeking His face. Come on. You can't give up because that could be the, amen to God, the brink of your miracle. Yeah. Amen? Amen. We can't give up. We've got to keep on keeping on this song. says. Keep on the firing line. Amen? Amen. See, Hezekiah here, he didn't allow the fact that he was going to die Keep him from praying to the Lord. Amen? Yeah. So what do you do when the doctor tells you you're going to die in six months? Come on. Do you just give up and say, I'm going to quit reading the Word? I'm Come just on. going to go downhill from here? I'm going to stop serving Jesus? That will make you more determined than ever. Praise God. Come when on. the bill collector says, hey, we're going to come and foreclose on your house because you can't make your payments. Does that mean we got to give up? Yes, it's bad. Don't, I'm not saying it isn't. I'm not saying it doesn't make you sad and upset. But that is the type. These are the things right there that make us cling to the cross. Make us cling to Jesus. Amen to God. And, and the more we cling to Him, the more we're going to become like Him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So don't let these things sidetrack you on your purpose. Amen to God. So keep praying to the Lord. Keep talking to the Lord. Amen to God. James 5.16 5, declares, Confess your faults to one another and pray for one another Come on. that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. Come on. We need to encourage one another. When we're going through something, praise God, and remind each other of the promises of God. Amen. Come on. I thank the Lord for you, Brother Billy. He'll send me encouraging words, amen, to God, and it reminds me to keep on keeping on. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's not that I don't trust God. It's just that, amen, to God, He wants us to do that amongst each other. Amen. Hallelujah. Keep praying. The Come next on. thing, keep expecting. Yeah. Expectation, says, is the breeding ground for miracles. How many believes that? Amen. Go over to God. Hezekiah was expecting, praise God. He just didn't pray to hear himself. He prayed expecting to believe God was going to do for him. Amen? Come on. Glory to God. You've got to keep having faith in God and in His Word. The Bible says in Revelation 12, 11, it says they overcame Him, meaning the devil, by the blood of the Lamb and by yeah. the word of their testimony. Amen. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Amen to God. That's why it's so important. I'm telling you today, and I know Brother Billy tells you, Come on. When testimony service is given, testify. Yeah. After hearing that brother the other night, that black brother that was blind, when he gave that testimony on that, that makes me just want to shout every time I walk through the door. Come on. I know some people say, well, Brother Mike, we don't want to hear that testimony again. But it makes me go back four years ago, and I'm not living. Excuse me, I'm not living in the past. But I'm just telling of the goodness of God. Where God has brought me from, praise God. The things He's done for me. What the doctor said I'd never be like. He said, you're never going to walk again. You're never going to talk. You're never going to preach or sing. Hallelujah. Well, amen to God. Look what God has done. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm here preaching. I'm here singing. I'm walking around. May not be 100%, but it's okay though, praise God. Because I praise God for the little things. And if God sees it, I'm very... Amen to God. Blessed in this, He'll continue to bless me more. Amen Come to God. On, amen. So I don't worry about it anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. I let it go. God is God and I'm not. Amen. Praise God. I thank God for what He's done for me. I told Him there Saturday night. Amen to God. I said, God has brought me from a mighty long way just like He's brought you. Amen to God. Don't think your testimony, praise God, is too small. Amen to God. You get up and testify. I don't care if people look at you funny. Testify the goodness of God. Amen. Amen. Go over to God because you don't realize your testimony has enough power and has enough faith, praise God, that can minister life to somebody else. Amen. Glory to God. So we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Romans 4, uh, 17 says, As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him who believed, even God, who quickened the dead and called those things which be not as though they were. 
Amen. Come on now. Glory to God. So don't let these things deter you. Keep speaking the Word in your life. Amen? Come on. Don't go by what you see in the natural. Go by faith. Faith is what pleases God. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. I'm closing out right now. Amen to God. I'm going to close out with this verse. Now stand to your feet, please. Hallelujah. I told you it was just a simple word tonight. It wasn't nothing. Amen to God. I wouldn't put on the Isle of Patmos or anything. Come on. Go over to God. I wouldn't like John. Hallelujah. I've never been crucified upside down. I've never been born to know all. Amen to God. I have been persecuted. But my persecution is way lightly compared to other folks. Like Brother Billy said earlier, we're a bunch of spoiled, Come on. spoiled, spoiled people. Amen. 2 Corinthians 4.17 For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceedingly and eternal weight of glory. Come on. Just for a moment, the things we're going through, our conditions, our trials, yeah. our tribulations, our valleys, are but for a moment. And they're working for us, amen to God. They're amen. working. That God's going to say, look at my child. Devil, look at my child right there. I have enough confidence in him, praise God, that you can do whatever you want and he's still going to be <laughs> praising me through it. How many is going through a battle tonight? Come on. Amen to God. Amen. You're going through something right now. But God is saying to you, don't give up. This ain't the end of it. I'm not finished working in your life. This is just but a thing. Because praise God, you're going to come out. Praise God. The sun's going to be shining. Amen to God. The clouds are going to pass away. Amen. The rain's done. Amen to God. And you're going to see bright, clear skies again. Like I said, weeping's enduring for the night. But your joy is coming back in the morning. Amen. If you're here tonight, praise God, you just need prayer. Just to keep going on, praise God. The Bible says we're to pray for one another. Don't be ashamed if you need prayer. We get, we get battle weary. We, we fight battles and we get worn down and we need prayer from one another. Amen? Come on. To keep going yeah. on. That's why God said we've got to pray for one another. Yeah. Encourage one another. Love one another. Uplift one another. Amen to God. Don't reject your brother or sister, praise God, because you, you think that they've arrived or anything like that. Come on. Love them. Help Amen. them. Because I know I need help a lot. Thank God for Brother Billy and each and every one of you. Praise God. Y'all put up with me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't shout me down with that. But I love each and every one of you. Praise God. And I truly know, you know, and I know y'all love me back. I do. And I, and I feel just the love of God for each and every one of you. It's good to be that way around family. Hallelujah. Especially family in the Lord. Hallelujah. If you need prayer tonight, come on down and we'll pray for you. If you just need peace of mind, amen to God. Come on down and the Lord can give you peace. He still whispers sweet peace to us like that old song Jimmy Swagger sang. And it's amen. Amen. Father, we thank You tonight for Your Word. Thank You, Lord God, that You're true and faithful to Your Word. That You don't lie, amen to God. You can't tell a lie for you the truth. Thank you, Lord, for always hearing us when we complain and murmur and bicker and gripe. Thank you for being merciful to us, Lord God, when we don't deserve it. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you most all for loving us, Lord. Hallelujah. Unconditionally, Lord, not judging us. Hallelujah. Not throwing stones at us, Lord. But you love us. And you promised you'd be with us and get us through these things. I pray for each person here tonight, Lord God, that's going through a battle. You know the needs, Lord God. And we just ask you to meet the need accordingly, Father. We ask you, Lord God, to give them peace, Lord. Give them strength there from these battles that we've all fought. Lord God, raise us back up, Lord God, where beauty can come from these ashes of these battles. Be with us, Lord, as we depart tonight. In Jesus' precious name. Everybody said, Amen. 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 Amen.